It seems that there are dangerous developments in the capital of Baghdad, which is in its third day of preparations. We will go there live with our correspondent, Shakar Hamad. Are the emergency sirens sounding? Shakir? We are waiting for pictures from Baghdad. It seems new warning sirens have sounded in the capital of Baghdad, warning of new air raids. Iraqi anti-aircraft have begun firing into the air from the ground. This is a signal that Iraqis understand. Yes, Shakir, do you hear me? Shakir, we are now seeing heavy explosions in this picture. Yes. Huge explosions have begun. A second large explosion. Many big explosions that we are seeing right now. Yes, gigantic explosions. Huge explosions here tonight. A massive bombing campaign on Baghdad has begun. Yes, I hear five explosions at one site, intense bombing, and there is a six missile. Yes, intense fire, Abdul Rahman. These missiles were dropped all at one time, and here is another missile. More explosions at the same site where the bomb was dropped. Continuous explosions, Abdul Rahman, and extremely strong and continuous bombing. I hear more explosions in the distance, another explosion in the same place where it landed. The bombings are continuous and another intense bombing in Baghdad. Complete and continuous explosions. <laughs> Intense, huge fires are located in one area amidst incoming missiles, lasting 51 seconds, Abdul Rahman. And there is, of course, another bombing outside the area. I see thick smoke coming from another area of the city. It seems that the bombings are taking place in many areas. We can hear the sound of the incoming missiles. Over there, there are missiles coming from the sky, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Another missile landed on a site where more than two other missiles have landed. This is the third missile which has landed there. The Iraqi anti-missile fire on the ground continues to fill the entire sky of Baghdad. Because of the intensity of the anti-aircraft fire, they could have hit the missile which fell from a low altitude to hit its target. In the Kurdish area of Iraq, Abu Dhabi TV exclusively managed to meet a number of Iraqi soldiers who ran away to areas controlled by the Iraqi Kurds. Our reporter Amer Abdul Hamad conducted these interviews. I'm Basim Salah Madlul from Iraq. I'm a soldier. I was born in 1967 in Basra. I was in the 2nd Infantry, Division 436, Military Unit 15. Tell us, why did you run to the Kurdish part of Iraq? The situation that forced me to run away and become a refugee in Kurdistan is the same situation that the Iraqis are suffering from at the hands of the Iraqi government. All the Iraqis wish to come here, and I wish that they can come here until this regime falls. Abbas Saeed al Hussein from Basra. How many years did you serve in the Iraqi army? I served one year and ten months in the Iraqi army. 
Why did you escape? I escaped because life was very difficult. We were serving in the army on a voluntary basis. We were working hard day and night, but we were not getting paid. They were not supplying us with all the necessary equipment. Marching into Basra is like marching into Iraq. Is this the richest district in Iraq? It has a lot of oil. Why weren't we getting paid? Whose idea was it to escape? And how did you tell each other about it? Weren't you afraid that some of you would tell? No, we were not afraid of each other. We are brothers. Did you know each other in Basra? Or did you meet in the army? No, we have known each other for a long time. The three of us decided to escape. At midnight, our army unit was in a state of emergency. As soon as the emergency period finished, Mushriq, Bassam and I escaped. We arrived in a Kurdish village. They welcomed us with open arms. Weren't you worried that the Kurds would think that you are spies? No, they were not suspicious of us. They gave us everything, food, money, shelter, thanks to God. I warned the Iraqi army not to come to Kurdistan. I'm Mushrik Ahmed Hashim from Basra. I served in the 2nd Infantry Division 436, Unit 15. Did you escape for the same reasons, or do you have a different situation? I escaped because it was useless. Am I supposed to wait until I get hit by an airstrike? No, that is not reasonable. What we were fighting for, I think we're fighting against ourselves. I have seen army officers escaping to save their lives. I'm supposed to fight, it is useless. If we waited, we would have been encircled without having a real army. Sometimes we hear that the army will resist and fight, and sometimes we hear that the army is going to be reduced. At one time, we heard that there will be an additional enforcement of 16,000 soldiers. What can the 16,000 soldiers do? They are not even enough to protect Basra. Why are you escaping now? Aren't you supposed to defend your country? Those that say they are defending the country are not telling the truth. The Americans are coming to remove injustice. Why should we stand in their way? They are going to help us to get our rights. Why should we stop them? It is a big lie. All the Iraqi people know that. As long as the Ba'ath party stays, Saddam and the entire leadership will also stay.